Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Outbounds playthrough So last episode we got our last gym badge Which was against the normal type gym leader Who had a new evolution for Bufalon And to be honest I quite liked it It was normal fairy type I can't remember its name It was something really weird But yeah it, it was pretty cool Then we went through a pretty simple victory road But I kind of liked it Because normally they're quite tedious and just long but yeah this one was simple and then we arrived at the Azim League so we're just gonna have a look around see what we can find here don't tell anyone but I'm just here for the free food yeah that would totally be me oh yeah we also got given a well we paid 5,000 for a um, shiny Magikarp I'm gonna buy some of these as well so we'd spent all our money before we went to space, we've got a lot of it back. Um, no, no, we, we don't need to relearn anything. Okay, so we'll heal up and then we'll go and take on the league. I don't think there's any post game in this game because obviously it's just a relic castle, relic jam. Game jam, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's basically entered for like a, a competition thing. So normally they're quite short games. So the fact that this has got eight like gym badges and an elite four and stuff is quite insane, really. So yeah, this will probably be the last episode. Oh, okay. This guy's got an aggro. Oh, did we battle this guy before? A sore. Why need a gym leader? Oh, a lost soul. You didn't expect me, did you? you? See, I'm not in the Elite Four because of my ghost abilities. I mean, because of my fascination with steel types. How about I show you? Okay, so you got two different teams. A little bit like what Scarlet and Violet did with... Um, was his name? Barry. Okay, and Corviknight's not what we want. Um... So you're definitely going for drill pick. Let's go into AG Slash. Yeah, we absolutely tank that. Um, I'm going to go for a Sacred Sword. does decent chunk and um, then we can king shield so you drop your attack or you don't you bulk up okay just keep taking that rocky helmet damage and we finish you off okay you have to Staying on set. Let's go for King Shield. Ah, okay. Um, we can go. Who can we go to? Can't go to anyone. Heracross, I think you're gonna probably do the least amount of damage here. You got decent special defense, what you did have. Just try and get off some damage, I suppose. Since when can I just. Uh, I suppose it's got a sword, he can slash. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this thing's a problem. A good bulk of her now. Only with new flamethrower. Right, that does decent damage. One more will do it. There we go. Out comes Excadrill. Which goes for an Iron Head. Get Flame Body off. Nope. And you flinched us. Why didn't he just Rock Slide originally? don't know if we outspeed. 
We're gonna attempt it anyway. Bit risky. No, we don't. Right, drain punch. Earthquake's gonna hurt a ton. A critical hit. Come on, are you kidding me? Okay then, Del Fox, it's all up to you. Go for no retreat. And oh my days. This is not gone to plan whatsoever. Aegis Slash. Go for a King Shield. Yep, you're going for an Earthquake, so Shadow Snake. I think you quite got it in here, have you? No, just not enough. Although, we did live. Okay, okay. I, I can live with that. Up next is Lucario. So we can bring back Gallade. Setting up a swords dance. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we'd outspeed somehow, but we don't. And you get the attack boost. This might be a reset job. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll be back to do it again. Okay, so let's try this again. So you lead off with Corviknight. I completely forgot to change the Pokemon that I lead with. Okay, switch to Aegis Slash. You go for an Iron Head, okay. I'm going to attack in case you go for Bulk Up. You don't you go for Brave Bird. Alright, now we'll go for King Shield. And then a Sacred Sword should finish you off. Okay, that's not too bad. Out comes your Aegis Slash. Heracross gets sacrificed because unfortunately it just doesn't quite cut the mustard. Right, now Volcarona can come in. And we go for a Quiver Dance. In fact, we go for another Quiver Dance. Flame. Ah, oh, I quit Choice Specs. <sighs> okay, that changes everything. Completely bottled this. Yeah, we didn't stand a chance of living that. Um, a Volcarona can come back in. And just flame for her. 
it goes down in one. Out comes Excadrill, which we will also play for a thank god that missed. To be honest, I didn't think it outsped us. Out comes Lucario, which you should be able to burn as well. So we got a little bit lucky, but I'll take all of them wins. Clean Clang doesn't leave a flame for her. Agron, here we go. The spirits are guiding me for the future. We're just, we're just going to flame for a get a bit of damage off. Agron, the spirits order me to activate your hidden power. So this will just be neutral. I know it won't. Oh, it changes the ground type when it mega evolves, doesn't it? You found your way through this. Your strength is very good, Lost Soul. Okay, I'm going to save once we've healed up. So, we lost two Pokemon in that battle. Imagine if they made it where you can't actually heal up after like each Elite Four member. Okay, and you're Titar. Hey yo, my name is Thund Thundagger. Okay. I'm very popular in the Azim region. You wanna know why? Well, that's because I taught the person who created this region how to create it. So that's why I'm popular in this region. How about you see the power of a popular person who wields Dark and Rock type? To be fair, I'd imagine Thundagger has taught a lot of people how to make fan games. Like Grim Snarl. Let the game begin. Um, okay, we're gonna go into Heracross, I think. I could have gone Volcarona, actually. Alright, let's see how much an X Scissor does. That might KO. Yeah, it does. You're a special attacker. Okay, let's go Volcarona. Mm, let's just see how much Flame Pro does. A decent amount. That's resisted. And then you go for a nasty block the next turn. Right, Gigalith, just get a bit of chip damage off. Oh, we got a burn as well. I don't think you understand how good that is. Because now we can go into Gallade and set up a Swords Dance. And you're not going to be able to do much damage to us. Right, that should give us a little bit of health back. Mm, not much. Out comes mandibles. Oh, this thing's gonna have foul play, isn't it? Oh, I hate that move. I hate it with a passion. Okay, more main. Play rough. We missed. Okay, let's go for soup. Oh, we can't. Just gone for spirit break. Well, I'm gonna full restore. I 
that should take yourself out. Or not. Let's switch out. And there we go. That gets rid of the mandibles. Right, out comes Tyrantrum. We'll go for a King Shield. Okay, you go for Rock Slide. And then you go for Earthquake. Scrafty, okay. Go into more main. And then we just spirit break. Now I think about it, we should have just gone for um, super. So then we would have got a defense boost up as well. So I'm assuming the last one's going to be Mega Tori Tyranitar. Oh no, I'm already at my last. Yep, there's the T-Tar. It's a little unfortunate, but hey, it's part of the game. Tyranitar, your pog power is going to be huge. I guess for a thunder punch, okay. Right, in comes Del Fox. Close combat. Boom. Put a choice scarf on it, didn't I? Just for them exact reasons. Wow, this is very pog. You're a very strong trainer. I'm sure you can be as popular as me. Right, well, we need to heal up again. Actually lost quite a lot of team members that that one. Alright, save again. And on to the next one. Oh, this is either gonna be psychic or steel. Maybe both. Bully Bulk. Hello. People call me Kansatsu. As a great scientist, I really like to observe and understand a lot of things. That's why I'm here, but it's because I have a lot of knowledge to share. But it could also be because of my observations regarding psychic and fairy type Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe I should share a few things with you. I'm sure that my knowledge is welcome. Okay, psychic fairy. Right, so you lead off with a guard of war, which I'm not gonna lie. Age slash with pro and you know, sorry, hair across, but we're sacking you off again. Just so I can get age slash in safely. Let's go for an iron head. It's got mystical fire, what the hell? Bye bye. What's next? Mimic you. Let's go for a king shield. Yes, this is going to be cheesing, but I really don't care. We eat that. Right, 
right, now we break the disguise. Go for another king shield. Drop your attack again. And iron head. Oh, you go for a sword stance, perfect. So far, so good. Out comes all beetle. Right, we'll go for King Shield, get back into defense form. And go for an Iron Head. Bug Buzz, we eat. King Shield. Same again. And then Shadow Sneak to finish it off. So Age Slash is putting in some work here. Right, three left Primarina. Right, go back into defense form. Oh, Iron Head's neutral, isn't it? Oh, we actually outspeed. Yeah, we, we get KO'd. Okay, um... Right, we just need to take it out, don't we? Right, we'll Mega Evolve so we can get Psycho Cut. Hopefully, that should KO. Just about. Oh, yeah, you're, you're definitely going for Moonblast. I think we just get some damage off. This will probably KO. Yep. But now we can safely get in Ball Corona and just flame through at everything. I didn't calculate that. Right, last Pokemon's gonna be a Mega Metagross. Need to observe better to find a way out. Metagross, we have to share some knowledge together. Zen head for you flinch us. Why? Just why? Like, if that doesn't flinch us there, we win this easy. Like, we, we're just going to have to hope we get better luck this time. Oh, you missed actually. We can get some... No, no, we can't. You still outspeed us. My bad. To be honest, Del Foxy is really slow. Right, we've just got to hope. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. That's going to KO. Alright, we reset and try again. Alright, so let's try this again. So, Gardevoir. I think we just go for Iron Head straight off the bat. We eat that. Alright, good start. Out comes Mimikyu, King Shield. Iron Head. Go 
up another king shield. Ah, oh, you went for swords dance. And another one. But we just KO you anyway, so it's not too bad. Out comes all beetle. Which we know is gonna go for a shadow ball. So we'll switch in more main. Go for Sucker Punch. You set up a Calm Mind, okay. Mm, doesn't quite care. That did a ton of damage. And Primarina. We'll sack off Heracross 4. Right, okay, um trying to think. Aegis Slash might be the best answer. Well, back we Hyper Potion, see how much damage it does. Right, well, we know we eat that, still does a decent chunk there. Okay, that KOs. When it's bet to that. Send out Gallade. Mega Evolve Psycho Cut. Up next is this thing. Go for Night Slash. Neutral. Okay, I'm going to take this turn to fully revive you. And yeah, that, that decimates us. Yeah, actually, let's go for Corona. If we can get two Quiver Dancers off, we're good here. Do not hit me with any status. Yes, yeah, now we outspeed and we should KO Metagross. Let's go for a flamethrower. No status, no status, no status. And out comes your Metagross. It's a bit of cheesing, but we got there in the end. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't an it's not been an easy Elite Four really. Interesting observation. Hmm. You told me a few things that I may not know. Okay, heal it all up again. Get everyone back to full health and see what the next one is. Oh, it's going to be a dragon type, isn't it? All ground. Right, we'll lead with more main. Greeting, soldier. I'm Lieutenant Sechi. I'm a very important person here. I train all the soldiers in the region by shaking the ground. So be prepared to have an unfit battlefield soldier. Mm. 
Mm, and he sets up sand. Right, let's just go for a superpower off the bat, get the defense boost. And go for another one. Critical hit man, like just can't be helped, can it? Might go for a waterfall. What's coming out next? Dunfisk. Okay, we need this sand to stop. Out comes Mamoswai. Let's grab the waterfall. Right, this thing gave us issues last time. We'll go to Volcarona, we should outspeed. And just flamethrower. Out comes Crook. And go for a Bug Buzz. That straight up KOs, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Sandaconda. Bug Buzz just to get some damage off. Mm. Oh my god, we did. Oh, focus sash. Right, now we just need to get this off the field and garch on. I kind of need to bring back Del Fox. And probably you as well. Delphox should outspeed the Sand Defender, surely. Okay, that'll do. In ready for the Garchomp. To be honest, I think it's just one shot. Even if you have potential, you still have one opponent left, soldier. By one shot, I mean one shot's us. Garchomp show you the strength thanks to our training. Oh no, we outspeed. Oh, that's good damage, that is. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Although, actually, doesn't Garchomp get slower when it Mega Evolves? But it doesn't matter, we've done it anyway. You proved your strength to me, soldier. Congratulations, soldier. You defeat all members of the Elite Four, which means you can go to the room behind me where you can get your champion rank, soldier. Unless. Obviously, there's going to be a champion. We already knew that. What Pokemon game doesn't have that? The question is... Who... Like, what Pokemon do they have? You know, he hasn't failed us before against Rook. 
so we'll do the same again. Ah, Pokiax. It's been a while since we've seen each other. As you can see, a lot has changed since last time. I became the champion of Azine. It was very easy. These so-called Elite Four were very weak and mediocre. That's why it was very easy to become the champion. And since I'm the champion, I'm sure you'll be easy to beat. If I got this fight, it means I'm better than you. So I'm ready. I'm ready to defend my rank of champion of Azine. Right then. Go for a sword stance. Mm, Side shot does decent damage there. Right, your grinning just gone. Let's just hope you send in some of the slow. Core of the night. Drain punch. I don't think that gives us back a lot of HP. Yeah, Brave Bird finishes us off. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Glade's done pretty good throughout this playthrough. Then we can go out into Aegis Slash. Go for a King Shield. Mmm, that's a bit annoying. Now all your attack drops are useless. And Rocky Helmet finishes you off. Out comes Tita. Right, King Shield again. Ooh, okay. This sacred sword needs to KO. It doesn't. Let's go for a shadow sneak, might finish it off. It oh my god it lived. How? How on earth has that lived? Like you've actually got to be kidding me. Okay, we're gonna have to suck a punch. Scurlipede. Right, hair across. It's your duty. That does so much damage. I'm gonna revive Aegis Slash just in case. But now we're going to go to Volcarona. Set up a Quiver Dance. That Earthquake does so much damage. And Flamethrower. Alright, Conk. Just hope to get a burn on you. That paralysis has literally just saved your life. And it it didn't actually, it just turned out that the paralysis did. You go for a spirit break. And then your last Pokemon should be Mega Burnett. Why is he always accused us of cheating? 
Burnett kicked this cheater out of the league. Lunge. You just literally boosted our attack. Oh, thank you. And there you go. There's the Elite Four and Champion done. What? How is it possible? I can't lose. It's impossible. I'm supposed to be better than you. No. No. He's angry. Pokex. I just saw what happened. It was amazing. No, I can't accept this. Ah, Rook. Pokex won. No, they didn't win. They cheated. You know, Rook, I think you can accept any defeats. And that's a slight problem. What? What are you talking about? Of course, yes, I can accept defeats. If you say so, however, you've just shown me that it is not the case. Come on, follow me, Pokex. It's time for you to become the new champion of Azine. Don't think this is the last time you're going to hear from me. I'll make sure to regain my rank. Here we are. All you have to do is put your Pokeballs on this machine to be recognised as a champion of Azine. It's still crazy to think that not very long ago you had only just started your adventure. You stopped a criminal organisation that wanted to invade the earth with monsters from another dimension. Then you came all the way here to become the new champion. And now you only have a few more steps to take. Come on, do it. Okay, there we go. That's the end of the game. I've got to say, to be honest, I actually quite enjoyed this playthrough. Um, all the like alien Pokemon I think are pretty cool. Like simplistic designs but still pretty cool. And the other sort of regionals and stuff they've done. Like all the start regionals from what I've seen look good. Um, Heracross. It kind of sounds good on face value but it's not actually that good to use. And then obviously like the Boofland Evolution I think is pretty cool. But yeah, overall, I'd say it's a good 7.5 out of 10. Obviously, it's not got like the incredible graphics that some fan games do. But to say it was a Reddit Castle game jam um, entrance really does not underestimate how much work they put into this game in such a short space of time. Kind of reminds me of when Thundagger did the. Ah, uh, Bushido, I think it was called, and that was for Reddit Castle. And again, it was a full game. I don't think it was as big as this though, but it was incredible for like how little little time it took to develop. Just makes you wonder that the people that made, person that made this game, like, if you can do this in a short space of time, what could he do if he made a game over at two, three years, like a lot of developers do? But yeah, I'd definitely be on the lookout for any other games this developer makes. Because I, I think this was a really good game. But yeah, that's all from me. Thank you everyone for watching. And hope to see you all next time.